with our families, be able to get our regular business done, do showings, close yes. loans. I mean, all the different things that we do in our regular business life, plus we can manage our social media in a very a very easy way, but a very efficient way that is continuously gaining engagement as you're doing it. So it, it, this is one of my favorite classes that we do, Scotty. Yep, uh, this is by far. This is really where the where the rubber meets the road. It is. If you want to grow your business, this is probably the easiest way to do it because the more exposure you get, the the bigger your brand grows, the more people that know, like, and trust you, and the more referrals you get. So, um, is social media going away? No. My question is, what is social media? And that's where Gary Vay says there is no social media. This is crazy, but what he says is social media is another name for the internet. Mm -hmm. Makes sense? It's, it's really all it is, okay? So don't let it scare you. Are you in with both feet? So my question hey, to you Scotty, is... Hey, Scotty, your slide, yeah. if you could, your, your screen is paused. If you could there show, go. there we go. All right, so are you in with both feet? Are you just kind of like, yeah, I got a Facebook page, yeah, I got a LinkedIn, yeah, I got a Pinterest? Or are you actively reaching out and touching people? We're going to cover that a lot today, and we're going to show you how to do it on a regular basis. Are your referral partners in it? So like, are you CPAs, financial planners, insurance agents... I'm working with a couple of those people that have major, major database. Uh, one insurance agent I work with, a good friend of mine now, is 3,700 people in his database. That instantly could become my database if we work as a team to, one, incorporate a video marketing or social marketing, or we help each other out with posting and sharing and engaging and stuff like that. That could be a huge deal for both of us. Mm. Can it bring you more business? Well, we've proven that many, many times. Stacy Staub was on the call a long time ago. And she, uh, she's doing about 30, 40 million. Who knows even how much she did last year. But 30% of her business is coming from Facebook. And it's really no more than just her doing events, putting stuff out there, letting people know where she's at, what she's being doing. Being social. She, being, be, being social, yeah. Is, the new, is this the new database management? I 100% believe that it is because it's so easy within a very short period of time to reach out. And if you set goals for yourself, say that today I'm going to touch five people in some way, shape, or form, whether it's social media, whether it's text, whether it's a phone call, whether it's um, some way of sharing, liking, commenting on something. If you're not doing that on a daily basis, you need to stop whatever it is you're doing on a daily basis and start blocking out. We call it blocking and tackling. Whether it's 10 minutes, 15 minutes, I'm going to show you how if you spend a little more time than 10 minutes, how it can really be a huge advantage to your business, okay? Is it a party or a business? What do you think, Paul? Both. Yes. Party is your business page. Bi or excuse me. Party is your personal page. Business is your business page. Keep them separate. Talk personal. Talk business. I'm going to give you some of my secrets today. I really hate to do it because it's uh, something that people just think I'm really that creative. Guess what? I'm, I'm, not, I'm nobody special. I just do special things. I find stuff that other people have put together, and I use them for myself to post and engage, engage and interact on my social media sites, okay? So what does what does just one of these mean to your business? Like, connection, follow, like likes on Facebook, connections on LinkedIn, follow is on Pinterest. What does one mean? Well, I'll have to tell you, nothing if you're not there or if you're not showing up on a daily basis, okay? I like to say that there's four parties going on every single day of every minute of every hour. In fact, it's the truth. There's somebody always on Facebook that I guarantee that knows, likes, and trusts you. Pinterest, LinkedIn, and Twitter every single day. If you're interacting and engaging with them, guess what? They're going to remember you. They're going to remember when someone says, hey, I'm thinking about buying a home. I'm thinking about selling a home. Who would you call? And you're just, you're, you're, you have a deep relationship with 500 people. Guess what? They're going to refer you. That's just the bottom line. So if you don't engage and interact with them, I mean, it's it's pretty scary. So the average, get this, Paul, I found this yesterday. This was as of, I think, February 15th, I believe, or February 13th. The average Facebook user has 245 friends, but the average friend on Facebook has 359 friends. And that's from Pew Center's Inter Inter Internet and American Life Project. They and service every them. time you see that that number definitely grows, um, it, it just remember this, that and, and this is something that I talk to people about all the time that, you know, well, you know, I understand what's, what's – if I get on Facebook, then, then, you know, I don't have any privacy. I understand that there's some privacy issues with, with Facebook and people talk about that. I see it on the – guys, if you're on Facebook, it's not private. 
Facebook is an open platform. So, you know, when you're posting and you're talking and you're you're engaging with others, you feel, think of it as if you're like Scotty says, you're at a cocktail party. There are things that you wouldn't say or expose about yourself at a cocktail party. Why would you do the same thing at the Facebook party? So, if you think of it in those same terms, you know, you would engage in a regular conversation at a cocktail party. You could do the same thing on Facebook. No but as far as privacy is concerned, you know, it, just think if the music stopped at the cocktail party and you were in the middle of your story and you were saying that story and everybody in the room heard it. That's what happens on Facebook. The music has stopped and everybody's hearing what you're saying. Yes. Hey, get this. So there's actually 355 squares here. I counted them. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Okay. <laughs> you had Mike count them. <laughs> yeah. I had nothing to do last night, so I just thought I want to count these squares and see, see if this is real. Go. All right. So here's the deal. If you do nothing else, if you do nothing else of any of the training we've ever given you on any of this stuff, if you literally spent the next week writing down everybody that you know, I mean everybody, making a list of who those people are, okay, and they say the average American knows 355 people, all right, that's crazy. So if you had a database of 355 people that know you, like you, and trust you, do you think you could get one deal or one referral a year from them? Okay, one referral a year. Uh, for, okay, so let's just do this. Let's cut it in half and cut it in half and cut it in half again. Do you think you can get one referral from a third of those or a quarter of those? One per year. Pretty crazy, right? But if they don't remember you, know you, like you, and trust you, they're not going to refer you. They just flat out, whoever comes in and is being their friend at the time or the sign they see alongside the road, that's what's going to be. So. If you do nothing else, just make a list of people that know, like, and trust you. Friend them, like them, connect with them, follow them on all the social media sites, and then engage on a daily basis with the number of people, however many you can do in a day. And it doesn't have to be business. We're going to give you some ideas, of it, okay? And when Scott right. says the word engage, what he's talking about is, is like on Facebook, you have a like button. That's an engagement. You have the ability to comment on something someone else has said. That's engaging with that person. On LinkedIn, you have the ability to also like a comment that somebody has made or make a comment with them. On Pinterest, you, you share your feelings about their, their pin on the Pinterest board. Um, you tweet back a, an answer to, to somebody's tweet that they've made for you. That's engagement. And right. engagement is how you win. You, know, you get those people to know, like, and trust you because you're just simply engaging on what they're interested in. Absolutely. So just a couple things. Have you made a list of everyone you know? I just said that. Friended, connected, and followed them on Facebook, LinkedIn, Pinterest, and Twitter. And I've put the younger crowd here. Um, touch them. Now, and and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you a really good example of why this is so important. Touch them on a monthly basis. Email. Here's, here's like I do this differently every single week. I have this system that I use. It's called Contactually, and I'll share that with you on the screen. But uh, I get an email every day. It says you can need to connect with this many people. And you can set how many people that is, but it's by email, Facebook, handwritten postcards, LinkedIn, text, tweet, how, whatever, whatever way you want to do it, I would switch it up on a weekly basis just to find out where your friends are, where your connections are, where people are hanging out, and then you kind of get to know where they're at and where, the, where you can communicate with them at, okay? But, I mean, this is, it actually becomes real fun because you get to know people on a deep level, where they travel, their trips, their friends, their family, their, their kids, their pets, and all that stuff. I mean, that's where the power comes in. So, so get this. Increased, increased exposure. We're talking about results. So this is no secret here. The increased in exposure is going to grow your business. I mean, it's going to up at 85%. Increased traffic, 69%. Provided market insight, generate leads, develop loyal fans, improve search ranking, group business partnerships, reduced marketing expenses. Because if you're sending out postcards, just listed, just sold, what if you, we, if they see them and go, hmm, okay, I don't need to buy a house. I need to sell a house. I'm going to throw it away. That's great. But what if you're engaging with them on a Facebook page just for that neighborhood? All right? So these numbers are no secret if you're doing them. Okay? Here's the next one. Most use social media sites. Surprise, it's Facebook, 92%. Twitter, believe it or not, is second. Now that surprises me that Twitter is second. And that's a, that's a really up-and-comer. It's growing very, very quickly now, as well yeah, as your, right. your gray one down there. Yeah, yeah and the Google Plus. The, I think, you know, this is from a year ago. It's hard to like, get the numbers and graphs, you know, exactly the day that we do this class. But 
Um, you know, they're always kind of a year, you know, a year behind or three months behind. So you'll see blog. Look, look, look where blogs are though. Sixty-one percent. That's number four. That's above Google Plus. So what that's telling me is, if I'm, if, if I one write a, write a blog post every other day or every one, or a couple times a week with the, with relevant content, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have some nice response from it because now I can post that on my LinkedIn page, my Twitter page, my Facebook page, which gives me interaction and engagement and lets people know I'm the expert. So um, YouTube video, believe it or not, I mean it's just crazy what these numbers are. Get this one. So minutes and hours per week, zero hours, three point five percent. One to five hours, thirty-seven percent increase in your business. You think that that's important? I can tell you right now that it is. Six to ten hours, it starts to drop. So that's—I mean, there's no reason to go over this. Um, not ten minutes a day, ten minutes. A, I mean, we, I'm a, I, you can literally do this in ten minutes. Ten minutes a week, but I'm, I'm telling you, if you are engaging and interacting on a on, on a daily basis with people, and I'm going to show you some examples of what I've been doing and where I get some of the content, and, and it's it's going to make it really easy. Okay. So setting some goals. What are what are you trying to accomplish? Past clients, their friends, family, and coworkers. I want to get to know them, go deep with them, build relationships. Uh, block out ten minutes a day to engage and interact. Really, it takes no more than that. We have a class coming up next week. We're going to show you how to kind of map that out. Okay, past clients, current clients. Uh, go deep with them on a friendship level. Don't talk business. All right. Very important key. That, that's a. That, that's an important part of using social media as a business tool is that you want to you know block out 10 minutes to engage and interact but your engagement and interacting is again you know I bring it back to that party Scotty and and you know would you walk up to a new person or walk up to somebody and say hey you know the housing market's really great right now this is the time to buy I'd love to talk to you about it or would you walk up and say oh my gosh I love that scarf that's really cool hey what are you drinking right there Absolutely. Which would you do? Exactly. And it's it's about building those relationships on a friendship level. Correct. They know who you are and what you do based on them checking you out in your profile. You don't need to say that you're a real estate person or or a loan professional each and every time that you make your post. It's it's about becoming friends. Get them to know, trust, and then the big one like you. Because once they do that, they know who you are and what you do. And when they get that opportunity, they're going to refer you. Correct. Here, you know, and, and I'm going to stop for a second and answer this question that Robin has because I think it's a, a very, very, very important fun. question. Absolutely so great Robin, question, Robin. I appreciate, I appreciate you putting this out there. So she says, the concern I have with Facebook is not that I will say something inappropriate. It is that someone else on my Facebook page will say something inappropriate. Things and these show up. Someone else can tag me in a photo and write something rude and it is their tag. Therefore, I cannot delete it. Suggestions for protection. Yes, there's actually a spot inside of Facebook that you can actually turn on where you have to approve the tagging of any picture with your name on it okay and I was going to show and I actually have a picture of that of where that is and I will show you that here in just a couple minutes okay so um, and what I do is if someone posts something on my page that I'm not I'm not happy with not only do I um, delete them but I also ban them and unfriend them I just I remove that from my life now People in life understand that there's that there's always going to be people that aren't nice. That's just the way the world is. So I, if you have enough friends on your page and you have enough interaction and engagement, your friends will tell you even when you're not there that hey something doesn't look right. Yeah. And you can go delete it and ban it, and then it's gone forever. So um, I personally, um, it's just it, it, and as far as the couple rules that I follow, I never ever share politics and religion. I never share. Um, any sexual innuendos. I never, I never get a picture taken with anything that I'm drinking because you never know when someone's going to have a first image of you. So never, ever, ever post anything that you're holding a glass, even if it's water. Just don't even go there because, because if I'm looking at you to use you as a real estate agent to list my property, and the I don't want to think you're a like, lush. Yeah, is, is you holding a glass of I don't know what it is, and you're with the at a party. It doesn't matter. It just it can't be done. So you got to keep those off there. And if you have them, just go delete them. And uh, just be done with it. So. And Virgil's asking a really great follow-up to Robin's question, and it's does that hold true for your business page as well? And it, yes. and it holds especially true for Everything. your business page, Virgil. Um, one of the things I do uh, with, with one of the business pages that I manage for, for my company is um, we, we've grown to a point where we're, we're well over 20,000 fans on our page now, and what that brings in is it, it will also bring in 
spam fans is what I call them, people that are trying to promote their products and, and you know, they'll set up crazy accounts and post something about weight loss on a, on a post that I made about video marketing. And so, you know, there is a management level that has to take place in terms of keeping that stuff off of there. But I, you know, I simply go in, I click on remove and, and ban the, that member so right. that they can't ever come back on my page and post again. It's just an ongoing thing. Um, but yeah, you have complete control over the content. I just, as when I say, you know, if it's on Facebook, it's public. It's just, you know, in terms of what you're posting, if somebody else is tagging you or posting you or saying your name in a post and it's tagging, you will have complete control over whether others or anyone sees that or to remove yourself from that post. Correct. So, uh, like, so setting some goals, drive more people to your website, maybe you know, build your brand, build your database, more, more than no one can trust you and generate leads. I mean, it's all, it's all part of the deal, right? Create buzz. Um, just kind of be out there. That's the big thing. So here's my question of the day. And jumping for like, like you have to set goals. If you don't have a goal, you don't have a plan, you have no idea why you get up in the morning, what you're going to do, how you're going to do it. So this is a question that I ask, that I like to ask people that I have to meet, meet with for the first time. Jumping forward one year from today, looking back over the past year, what has to happen in your business for you to feel happy with your progress? And maybe it's closing 12 deals, maybe it's closing 24, 34, whatever it is. There's no right or wrong answer. Maybe it's putting a pool in your backyard. Maybe it's buying your kids new butts. I don't know what it is. Whatever it is, um, but if social media engagement interaction isn't part of that 12-year plan, like I want to have, I want to be engaging and interacting with this many people, then, then, then you probably should rethink that and put that as part of your plan that you're going to do on a daily basis. Because I'm telling you right now, in a very short period of time, you can have referrals coming that you had no idea were even there just by connecting with people that you know that you haven't talked to in a while, okay? I'm telling you, those people hang around with their employees and they hear people buy and sell and someone, I mean, I don't know about you on the call, but every time I go somewhere and talk to somebody new, it oh, and I don't try to bring it up, it just comes up that, hey, I'm thinking about buying, I'm thinking about selling, I'm thinking about refinancing, I'm, um, I got a friend that's thinking about moving to town and hey, you know, what's a good area? I mean, it just, I don't know what it is, but it's always coming up. And if you're not engaging and interacting with people, it's just you're going to miss the boat on that, all right? So ask yourself that question, write it down, figure it out what it is. And, 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 and you know, a lot of people are too specific or aren't specific enough. Most people either estimate or underestimate, which, which is uh, why we will determine what you need. You may be working too hard. So as we go along throughout the year, we're going to do different classes that will maybe touch on your goals and what you want, why you want it, how, how, you're, how, how you're going to work to get there, and stuff like that, okay? So really what it boils down to is, is making something a habit. It takes 21 days to make a habit, so they say. So if you go, all right, for the next 30 days, I'm going to go from 8 to 8.30 or 9 to 9.30 or what at 9 to 10, I'm going to focus on four social media sites. Whatever those are, there's no right or wrong answer. Maybe it's just one social media site. Maybe it's just in the next 30 days I'm going to work at setting up all four of these social media sites. Let's do something that's going to get you in the social media circuit and, and just commit to it, okay? So I'm going to, I'm going to it's like form a goal like on LinkedIn I'm going to do something, on Facebook I'm going to do something, on Facebook personal business, on Facebook groups. I'm going to hang out in groups that are positive and, and engaging and upbeat. I'm going to uh, go to Pinterest and figure it out, but what the heck is going on on Pinterest? Google Plus, what, why is Google Plus so important? I'm going to show you why Google Plus is so important. And then when setting up your networks, make sure you include the following, photo and or logo, links back to your website, and then content about you and your company. I put your resume up there. Tell people who you are and about you. They like to know that stuff, okay? Ask your assistant and partners to set up accounts to help you promote you. And what I'm going with that is if you have an assistant or you have a team of people on your team, they should have accounts as well. When you post something, they should be liking it. They should be commenting on it. They should be creating engagement interaction because that's going to bring it up more often, right? So use the people that are on your team to do that, all right? What should you be monitoring? Facebook, kids, grandkids, photos, love for something, birthdays, graduation, uh, contest, life. I mean, graduation is coming up right now. We're coming at that time of year. Either getting married. I mean, there's all kinds of different things you could you could uh, monitor there. These days, the content on Facebook, and start, like, if you know this, you know that this is happening, that these days, the content on Facebook almost fully mirrors many individuals' lives. 
I mean, you can go and read every single post. You can pretty much pick up what kind of person they are. All right? You can, without even ever speaking with them or commenting on everything, they will literally tell you everything about their life. It's kind of crazy sometimes. I don't agree with it. But just know that and, uh, and, and use it to get to know them. All right? So my favorite app first, uh, and I'll show you a couple of these posts that I use. So my favorite app, Paul, I don't know if you knew about this one. I hate to give up my little secrets because these are just amazing. So it's called Status Shuffle for Facebook. I think there was a small fee to pay, $1.99 or $2.99 or whatever. It's well <laughs> worth the money. There's a free version, but I'm telling you, I've got more likes and comments on this stuff in the last couple days than I have in a really long time because it just it, my mind does not come up with stuff. I just use other people's stuff. Or I, as you start thinking about when you see something, wow, that's kind of funny, or I wonder what people think about that. Or if you start thinking about that at the different places you go, then it'll then it'll get easier. But I like to use other people's stuff like this, like these apps to use this. So what it is is it gives you literally thousands and thousands and thousands of different quotes on every single topic you can imagine. All right, educational, um, encouragement love, hate, uh, jokes, I mean all kinds of different stuff. Um, I would heavily try it out. I think, I know it's available on the iPhone. I'm sure it's available on the uh, on the Droid as well. Okay. Now how many are you able to add to your, uh, this is me, my questions, I'm sorry, yeah. I've not seen this before. How many How many yeah. backups are you able to add, like to where it shuffles through 6 or 10 or 15? How many are you able to put in there? Uh, you can put as many as you want on there. It's unlimited. If I bought the paid oh. version, yeah, I bought the paid version, so let me okay. just Really, really, two seconds here. I'll show you. Uh, Sorry to throw you off you. topic, but uh, this is oh, kind no, of a no, cool no, thing because this gives you really that good. that engagement. Without it, this is part of managing. I wish I'd have known about this, Scotty, because I've been using the other thing that we're going to talk about to to do this. Yeah. So here's here's the uh, here's the app. So let me just go back. Here's the uh, let me see. Just click out of it right here. So here's the the app. It's called Status Shuffle, right here. So I click on Status Shuffle. It has popular topics, all topics, encouragement. So if I just click all topics, it literally has every single thing you can think of. So if I go to, so I can scroll really quick to encouragement or Halloween or weekends or daily. I mean, so I have some favorites. One of my favorites that I laughed so hard that I cried at the restaurant the other day. Um, it, my wife didn't think it was as funny. Is um, let me just show you my favorites. Let's see, go back. So. Um, this, this just made me laugh so hard the other day. I don't know why. I just thought it was funny. Someone ran up to me, threw Skittles at me, and said, taste the rainbow, ha, ha, ha. So I hit them with my car, parked and, parked and said, nationwide, is it on your side? So I don't know why I thought that was funny. But So I have a little test with my wife going, okay, how many likes can I get on that? So if you guys could help me out, that'd be great. <laughs> <laughs> she thought it was funny. So that's, uh, that's a great app. It's, it's an amazing, I think it's like two or three bucks. Highly recommend, uh, highly recommend picking that up to give you some ideas of what to post. Um, again, if you refrain from the religion, politics, stay away from there. Stay away from the sexual stuff, drinking stuff. Just keep it positive. Um, always be a ray of sunshine. Be like that person that makes somebody smile or laugh every day. Let me just show you, uh, and I'm not trying to brag here by any means. I'm just saying stuff like this is what you know makes people smile. And then if they, if they remember you for a positive attitude, then they're going to remember you when it comes to buying and selling the house because you have that you're just that person. So there, I took this one from that app today. I said a hug a day keeps the blues away. Virtual hugs to all my Facebook friends. Enjoy the day. I got 27 likes and a bunch of comments. I mean, so that's the stuff. Uh, here's another one I posted yesterday. I wish that once I could wake up in the morning, turn on the news, and hear Monday has been canceled. Go back to bed. Make it a great day. 42 likes and a bunch of comments. So um, stuff stuff like that is those are comments from that app. They create inter interaction engagement and make people laugh, all right? And, and what's great about that is it goes back to those very first slides that Scotty was showing. That, you know, the average user on Facebook has 245 friends. Your average friends has 300 and something people. Right. <laughs> every oh, right, time right, somebody right, right, right. engages with Scott's post, every time he gets a like or gets a, a post, those friends of that person get to see that, and that's just no holding Scotty in a different light. Not just to, you know, yeah, there's a big deal about becoming, you know, getting those people to know try some like like Scotty. Right. But what about the friends who don't know Scotty? Now they get to see all the fun, cool things that he's posting about, and getting people being very engaging. Now well, they yeah, may he, want to go and friend Scotty as well, and he's now growing I mean, his circle of influence. 
I mean, here's the thing is if people go, who's Scott? They're going to go and go, oh, he's a mortgage specialist. Okay, well, cool. Well, then, okay, so Trina or like Susan or Julie or Danielle, they go, they, they're friends with Danielle. They go, Danielle, who is Scott? Well, he's my mortgage guy or he's my real estate agent. Oh, crap, man. I was thinking about buying a home. Would you use him again? Absolutely. He's a great guy. He's always positive, always upbeat. I mean, you can follow him on Facebook. You can see all this stuff and he's got a ton of friends. That's what you're going for, okay? That's the goal in your life is to just interact and engage and have people talking about you, okay? So um, four ways people can interact on Facebook that you shouldn't be monitoring. Wall post, comments, likes, and this will make sense when I get to it. But wall post, comments, likes, recommend, uh, recommendations, new and requires a plug-in. News feed, let's talk about this. So that news feed that shows up on the right-hand side called the tickler file, um, what, the, what Facebook realized is, and I should have had a picture of this, but let me just, let me just uh, show you what I'm talking about here. So if you go to Facebook, you'll notice if I go to the home page, you'll see up on the right-hand side, uh, oops, maybe not, uh, right over here. Yep, you guys can see this right here. All this stuff right here. So people, they said, all right, whoever is on Facebook doesn't, here's Raj, by the way, if you guys were wondering who Raj is, there he is right there. Amazing, the guy just, just does an incredible amount of business in California. But um, this is your tickler file. So what happens is people say that I, I, I as a person, live, eat, and breathe on Facebook two to three hours a day. I don't want to leave, so I want, but I still want to see what my friends are doing. So your friends, as they get more likes, or Facebook sees as relevant likes or interactions, they'll throw it up on here so that all your friends, as they're sitting here, can see what's going on. And the crazy part about this is if I just hold my thing over here, I can see the comment. I can even comment on this if I want to. I can see pictures. I can write a comment. I can, see, I can watch videos. I can see pictures. I mean, all kinds of stuff going on that I can do without leaving. I'm still on my page. And that's why Facebook is so big. Is like I want to stay here. I don't want to leave. Hey, Scotty, are you are are you on pause on your Oops. screen right now? Sorry. Why why did it? Oh, you know what? Um, I, did, I hold on one sec. He's no not right now. Okay, sorry guys. Whoops. There we go. All right. Sorry. So when I did that reflector. So here's that tickler file that I was just talking about. I mean, I can see what's going on without leaving this page right here. I can stay right here as long as I want, and I can still interact. Where are you at, Scotty? Over on the right. Over. Can you see me? Are you showing your screen? I am. Uh, I am. Yeah. It says I am. Okay. Is it not? Uh, hold no. On. It's. It's. It, I'm. I'm not seeing it and, and getting several posts that others are not as well. Okay. How about now? No, sir. Here. Let me do. Let me try something. You want to take it and then I'll take it back. Yeah. I'm gonna. I'm gonna take it and, and then hand it back to you. Okay. Sorry about that, guys. Right. Are you seeing my screen? Is everybody seeing my screen right now? Uh, what are you seeing, Scott? Okay, so Mar Marie is saying, yes, they're seeing my screen. So I'm going to switch okay. it back to you real quick here. All right. Okay, show my screen. How about that? Yep, we're with you now. Okay, cool. Okay, good. Yep, Sorry we're on the PowerPoint. That. You're on the PowerPoint, right? Correct. Yep. Perfect. Okay, yep. guys. Sorry about the delay there, guys. Thank you, everybody, for helping us out with what you're seeing. Appreciate yeah, all your input. All right. Got it. Okay, cool. So, uh, recommendations. So, I did that. So, important settings. Here's that one that you guys just talked about that um, our good friend down there asked about. No, no, so, check this out. So, where? let me just pop this stuff and then I'll remove it. So, if you click on the little settings tab up on the right-hand side, account settings, this little thing comes up and it says, who can post on your timeline? Edit. Friends. Review posts tag you, uh, re re review post friends tag you in before they appear on your timeline, on. So if you have that off, 99% chance that thing is off right there. So again, whoops, let me just go, if you click on the settings tab when you're on Facebook, this little gear up here that I point to with the red arrow, and then click on account settings, you're going to go over to timeline and tagging. See that right there? Timeline and tabbing over on the left, and then this is going to come up. So you want to go through and click on these. There's a couple of you know, questions. Is this yes or no or everyone? Um, but this is the one you want to turn on so that if someone tags you, you have to approve it first. Okay? So that saves you there. 100% agree with that, too. All right? Okay. Uh, the Facebook news feed. A feed of what Facebook calculates as the most relevant, important items occurring in your network. Goal to react to important items in which your business news feeds and get you wall posts featured 
in other news feeds. We just talked about the tickler file. So I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on that. The more interaction and engagement you get, the more you're going to show up on here, the more friends that are going to see it, all right? Danger, you don't want to overwhelm your wall with too many posts per day. Sometimes I see agents that post 10 listings or 5 listings. Nobody wants to see that a home is for sale. Even on your business page, they want to see something unique and cool, which means like, like have some pick pick something cool about the house, like a fireplace or the finished basement or something that people would want to know about or see about. Not just I have a new listing or hey new listing. Um, give them something to look at. Give give them a reason to go. Oh, I want to see that. You guys, I mean, even if it's something small. Hey, I was going through this house the other day. Beautiful home, by the way, but oh my God, they had this really neat, neat piece of artwork, and I took a picture of it. They okayed me to share it with you. You have to check this out. And it goes to your single property website. How much, how much better is that than saying, got a new listing? That's the stuff you want to let people know what your interests are, what your desires are, what your goals are, what, that you're having fun out there. What was that one that Stacy did? She makes cookies, and she, and she took a picture of the cookies and says, man, I bet you were, I wish you were here to smell these. You know, and like where? So then they click on the link to see the house she's doing the open house in. That type of stuff is what people love, okay? In fact, doing so may prevent your post from getting into your followers' news feeds. If you just do too many, people are going to eventually unfollow you or hide you or unfriend you, so you don't want to do that, okay? Best practices for Facebook suggest one to two posts per day as the ideal number, all right? Twitter, same thing. Relevant questions about your company, you can search this. Relevant questions about your industry. Uh, you can follow requests for support, uh, complaints and feedback. People will, will complain about you on there. You can check it out and give them a call. Praise you, uh, competitor mentions. You can actually search. You can follow people like Raj on Twitter and see what he's saying, what he's doing. Um, industry leaders, like like follow in, like people that are high up in this industry, what they're doing and how they're doing it, and just kind of just kind of hang out with them. Like I hang out with Gary Vay. I don't really hang out with him. I just follow everything that he does because he's so brilliant when it comes to social media. Pick one or two or three people to follow those guys and get used to how they use Twitter. You go, okay, that was cool. Okay, that was cool. And you kind of get a feel for what they're doing and how they're doing it. And if you like it, go, why do I like it? Ask, that, ask yourself that question. And then go, okay, as a real estate agent, this is what buyers and sellers and my friends and family and coworkers like to see. All right? This guy right here, the reason I'm putting him up here, I, I like his music, to be honest with you. I might, might get a lot of haters here, but um, he's 19, okay? He's got almost a million Twitter followers. This is the age group that is how close. I mean, when can he buy a house? He can buy a house right now, right, at the age of 18. But 20, 21, I mean, I don't know what buyer age you're working with in bracket you're working in. But these guys coming up really quick in the next two years, this is how they communicate. My daughter, 17, communicates on Twitter exclusively. That's who she communicates with a large number of group of friends, has a ton of followers, ton of tweets, and just that's just how they communicate. So. In two years, we're, we're going to be having a different conversation about Twitter because now we're going to have an age group that has grown up with Twitter, and that's how they're going to communicate. I know it sucks, but that's just how it is, and that's how we have to adapt and incorporate that into our lives. All right? LinkedIn. LinkedIn Answers. You can be the expert on LinkedIn Answers if you want to. Go to LinkedIn. If somebody asks a question, you answer it. You are get like kind of like Yahoo Answers. It's the same type of thing. Group discussions. It's great to join groups that are relevant to you as far as real estate. There's some board of realtors. There's real estate. Uh, there's just different real estate groups to hang out in there, share a lot of cool stuff. Google Plus. Google Plus is introducing this direct connect. Well, check this out. So I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time here, but get this. The circle of streams is bigger than you can think. Google said, all right, we're going to make it so that we own Google and we own the search criteria that comes up. So when you are connected with somebody and you search a term, okay, get this. So when you search home buyer's guide, like I'm a home buyer and I search home buyer's guide and I'm in somebody's circle that wants to, um, that has said something about a home buying guide. Look at this one right here. It says home buying dot about buying a home and it says Google Plus circles in 112 Google Plus circles. These guys are putting this stuff up here. If you have a friend that you're connected with on Google Plus and you, and you search something in Google, They'll be first because they go, all right, Google says, you would rather get something of the, from a friend than you would from somebody you don't know. So we're going to put them up there first. And if it's anything to do with any, anywhere close to what you're searching for, we're just going to throw it up there. Another thing I wanted to share with you guys, 
Remember Evernote we covered last week? If you didn't get a copy of it or haven't listened to it yet, it's an amazing program. It'll also show up when you search Google all your Evernote stuff that has to do with Google, like whatever you search. So Homebuyer's got it says you have two related results in your personal notes. Well, really? Crap, I already have something like that. So I can go check it out and see what I have in there. Pretty crazy, huh? Google's pretty smart. I have no idea how they do this stuff, but they do. All right. So um, Pinterest, how to integrate and automate Pinterest. I'm going to show you how to integrate and automate Pinterest. It's pretty crazy. And automatically when you pin something, so an agent said, how do I, how, there's no way, how do I incorporate Pinterest into my, into my life? Well, it's, it's like when you go to take a picture of something, instead of just take a picture, open Pinterest, and then take a picture and pin it. And there's really no difference. There's really no more time involved. It's just using a different app on your phone when you take it, okay? So I'm going to show you how to use this Pinterest.com forward slash username forward slash feed.rs. Everybody that has a Pinterest account has a syndication, which means really simple syndication, where you can automatically push stuff to it and people can receive stuff from it automatically. I'm going to explain that here in just a second. A little bit techy, but I'm going to show you how to set that up in, in this my little secret. So, Scott, seriously? You, I'm, I'm supposed to I'm supposed to run a real estate business and like own Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and post something on a daily basis. And okay, what about Pinterest? You know all this other stuff. Are you, are, are you crazy? Seriously, what am I? How how do I? That's what I that's what I normally hear. Like, Scott, I just don't have time. I don't have time. Don't you love that picture? You can't be serious, right? So uh, one of the things that I want to talk about is Hootsuite today. Hootsuite, believe it or not, I just I just amazes me that something so powerful is free. This is a free tool, okay? I'm sure you've heard about it. If you're not, if you haven't used it, you're going to want to. You're going to want to log in and get used to it. We have some uh, slides on how to set up and everything. But um, it's free up to five social profiles. So for example, you have Facebook, you have LinkedIn, you have Twitter, and you have Pinterest, and you have Google+. So you can literally manage all your social media sites inside of Hootsuite for free and monitor all of them and post one time and have it go up on all five other of your social media sites. All right? You can do unlimited for 10. So say you have three Facebook pages, a personal profile, a Pinterest, a LinkedIn, and, and seven Twitters. You could do that for $10 a month and manage all of them and have one post automatically go out to as many of the other profiles that you want to manage. Okay? So, really quick, how to sign up, and then I'm going to go live and show you how to use this. So, as, um, is everybody okay with me right now? Everybody cool? Yep, yep. Right. We're seeing okay. you, bro. Okay, good. So, when you go to Hootsuite, you're going to go sign up for Hootsuite. You're going to select a plan, which choose the free one, of course. Put in your email, your name, your password. Choose what time zone you're in. Subscribe to Hootsuite newsletters. I would do this because they put out some really good content, and they have some really good tips. They have a help desk. They have videos. They have all kinds of stuff. It's really cool. For, if you want to go with the paid version, I wouldn't recommend it at first, okay? All right. Step three, it's going to go, well, hello, Scott. Start by adding your social networks. Well, that's easy. So you click on add a Facebook profile or add Twitter profile or add LinkedIn profile, okay? And it's going to go, this is the next screen you're going to see, and it's going to say connect with Facebook. Well, that's easy. When you connect with Facebook, it's going to say, Scott, I need you to log into your Facebook account so I can connect through Hootsuite to your Facebook account, all right? Put in your email address, put in your password, put in login. Boom. It's going to go, choose your personal Facebook page, Scott. Well, yeah, I want to post to my personal, but I also want to post to my my Facebook page. My, I mean, here's all the pages. If Here's the crazy thing, guys. If you are an admin of any page, like if you're a broker owner on this call right now, you could feasibly, if you had 100 agents, Get this. Now get this. If you are a broker owner and you have a hundred agents, you could manage all hundred agents profiles on all five of their social media sites for them as them. Does that make sense? So you could go in, log in as yourself, log in as your number one agent, number two agent, number three, and I'm not saying you're number one, number two, number three, number four, but I'm just saying you could log in and put hundred agents in one profile inside Hootsuite. And for $10 a month and manage their Facebook, their LinkedIn, 
their Twitter and their Pinterest and their Google Plus if you wanted to. And is James that? has a great question here, and I want to address this because a lot of people are looking at this at the at the free version and on the paid version. Okay. The question from James is is on Facebook. Does your personal account count as one profile, and your Facebook or, or your business page count as one profile? Yes, they sir. are separate <laughs> profiles. So if you're yes. using Facebook, you have to tie in your personal account to be able to get to your business account there. That equates to two of the five available on the free version. So remember that, guys, and, and it is very important to know that, that, yes, your personal account counts as one, your business account counts as another. Excellent, excellent. Okay, so, um, so and, I'll, and, I'll, and I'll do this for you. So, okay, so the next slide is, okay, I've, I've added my Facebook, my LinkedIn, my Twitter, all that stuff. Get this. So I'm going to go over this really quick. I know there's a lot here, so I'm going to give you the slide, and I'm going to go live and show you. But so in this little box in the top left of your Hootsuite account, you're going to put in whatever whatever saying you want to say. So right here I put in real estate agents only, how to manage your Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter account in 10 minutes a day or less. You guys probably received that email, right? So if I wanted to post that on Facebook, on LinkedIn, on Twitter, and have it go on Google+, Plus, get this. So I would go, I would put the post. I would put a link to where you would sign up, and if I wanted to schedule it, I would click on the little calendar. So, for example, if I wanted to schedule a post a day for the next five days, I could literally do it in 10 minutes. So tomorrow, and you can even pick the time. See the time right here? It said this was back in 8 of 2012. 8.30 8 a.m. is when I wanted to post. Email me when the message is sent. I pick my profiles over on the right-hand side. See that? Right here. Choose your site you want to post to, so all of your profiles or just one of your profiles. This would be your personal, this would be your Twitter account, this would be your Facebook account, this is your another page that I monitor, this is another page, this is another page, here's my LinkedIn as I go down here. Um, there's all kinds of stuff you can do on here. So that's, that's how you manage and post on all three of your networks at the exact same time. So um, that's, the, that's the last slide. So let's just go live and show you this thing. This is, this is so cool. So here's my, my Hootsuite account. Hoot sweet. Um, so inside here, I'm just going to show you really quick up in the left-hand box. Here's the live version. So I'm going to say showing demo of Hoot Suite. Wish you were here. All right. Uh, maybe next week. All right. I want to put a link here if I want to. I can put a link there. If I want to upload a photo, so I can click here to upload a photo. If I wanted to schedule a time for this to go out, say I wanted to go out at 3.30 today, I want to click on scheduling, and I want to, today's through the 5th, right? No, today's the, what is today? Today's the 5th, so I want to go out at, uh, today, and I want it to go out at, uh, let's go out at 3, 3.30, and choose PM. So if I click that and click schedule, this tweet will go out at 3.30 p.m. today automatically, all right? If I don't want to do the time thing, if I want to just push it right now, I, I click this little drop-down box. I choose which profiles I want it to go to, and here's all my profiles. Here's my personal LinkedIn, my, my Facebook accounts. Here's my other personal profile. So if I want to put that in there, I just click it in there. If I want to get rid of it, check this out. So see how there's four there right now? Can everybody see that okay? So then I want to get rid of one, I just click on it and it goes away. I want to add another one, I put it back up there. And you can click all and it will add all of them for you. And you go, well, you know what, I don't want this one and this one and this one and this one and this one. So you just put them back in the, put them back in the folder and you're good to go. See how that works? It's that easy. So if I was to choose all of them, it would post the same thing on all of my walls. So I'm going to, I'm going to remove these and I'm going to post to my uh, personal Facebook. And I'm going to click send. All right. So now it's going to send, and I want to go to my. I want to actually monitor it. I can go to Facebook and check it out. And there it is, showing demo of Hootsuite, which you work here. Maybe next week. All right. Shows that it came from Hootsuite, which is pretty cool. There's a way to turn that off. I don't know how to do that. I'll have to find that out. And let you know. But I'm actually going to delete this. So delete that post. The other thing I can do, this is pretty cool, is I am a part of a bunch of groups. You guys are a part of Agent Mastermind. You guys are a part of a couple other groups, maybe of your own. But I can monitor all of my groups inside of one channel. See this? 
or I show Facebook groups. So how you set that up is you go, all right, I want to monitor my Facebook, my LinkedIn, and my Twitter all in one page so I can literally see what comments are being said, what, what posts were being made, and then all this other stuff. So I just click on post, and I go, all right, Scott's personal, or it would be your name's personal. Um, then I click go, and it says the tab does not have any streams. Add a stream. All right, I want to add a stream. I go, boom, add a stream. It's going to go, which one you want to add? Here's the PowerPoint that I gave you. I go, I want to add a Facebook, and I want to add my personal. All right, I want to add the news feed, which is good. Perfect. Click on the little plus button. And, whoops, okay, there it is. And, oops, let's see here. Sorry, guys. It gets a little crazy when I'm on this thing here. Clear. I want to clear it. Okay, there you go, and uh, I'm having a hard time here. Well, it always happens when I'm showing you guys this. Most recent news feed. All right, <laughs> okay, so that's how it works when you're not on a webinar, of course. So um, so then that, there's, another, there's other ways to add your social media tabs. So you could add social network here, um, and then here's the cool part. There's a, and you'll get used to this stuff, trust me on this. And if you have any questions, just go to the Facebook page and do this. But if I click on my name, here's the streams. If I click on my streams, it'll show my streams. But if I click on my name, it'll show you underneath here all the different pages that I'm a part of. And I can add a social network there as well. So if I go back to my streams and click on Scott, add stream, go to Facebook, see if it'll let me do it this time. And nope. Oh, it's just not going to let me do it. What are you doing? Oh, it's just, it's just not let me do it. So that's how you would add that stream to it, um, to your page. Add a stream, add a solution network. It's just, it's, uh, let me see here. Let me just go, because I'm already logged in, so it shouldn't ask me to do that. Add social network. Actually, it does ask you to log in again to, to verify. Does it? Okay. Yeah, because you're, you're actually logging into a new, a new spot. Okay. It says that I'm here, though. So it just it won't see it won't uh, when I get there it kind of blocks it out for me, isn't that weird? <laughs> so just why I'm on it always happens why I'm on this class. Uh, so that's how you do it. So that's how you add so that you can monitor whatever you want. I have all my groups inside here. Um, I have you can you can have your Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn inside one page. So when when I say that you can post to Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter all with one. Once you, have, once you add your profiles, and when you first sign up, you'll ha it's really easy to do it. You'll see that here, here's one I posted this morning. Here's another one that Vicky posted. So I can see everything that's going on inside this page. Doug Weaver posted. Um, I can comment right on this page. There's the comment section right here. I don't even have to go to Facebook. I don't have to go to any. I, I can just stay right here and monitor my Twitter, my LinkedIn, all that stuff right from inside my Hootsuite account which is really cool. So I can comment, interact, engage right here, and then be done with it, close it out, and go do something else. All right? Makes sense? Any questions on there, Paul? Um, it, there is one question that uh, several people have brought up at the same time, and, and a couple of people have, have mentioned it, and, and I'd like you to address it because I, I've got a feeling on it, and I think it's the same as what you feel on it, but I'd like you to address it. And the question boils down to, well, if I use Hootsuite to post the same post and send it out as a tweet, post it on my LinkedIn, and get it posted as a Facebook post, uh -huh. what about the people that I'm connected to on all three of those sites? I, aren't they going to see the same message over and over? Correct, and they will. Um, in, and that's in my personal opinion, yeah. Yeah. that's a really good thing. Because first and foremost, they're seeing my face multiple times, reaching out in multiple social media platforms. So they, it's a reiterate. It's who I am multiple times. They, it's multiple Correct. ways to touch them. But it's a reiteration of what my message is. Correct. Absolutely. You know, it's, it's, Absolutely. It's, that's why you connect in all those different places. And that goes back to when we talked about, uh, what was it? I want to say it was in November, Scotty, that we talked about branding and you becoming your brand, or was that that right. more recently with the WordPress stuff? Uh, we talked about the brand. Guys, yeah. you are your brand. Your name is your brand. So when you create your Facebook account and you create your Twitter account, you create your LinkedIn account, your Pinterest, you want to have it's the same, you know, the same information. Your About Me section is exactly the same in all of those. 
<laughs> your about me section, you know, your picture is the same. And Alan Gross says it exactly right here. Coke advertises on multiple channels at the same time. That's right. what you're doing right. is you're, you're advertising in multiple channels at the same time, and you're getting your message across multiple ways. The same message, because that's the brand, is, is you are the brand. They're just getting to see you multiple times. Correct. Correct. Man, did you see this, Paul? Well, I actually figured it out, but check this out. So I slide over there. I can almost get there. And he, trust me, I've never had this problem. But if I go right over it, it blinks it out. But if I click it right there, so it's actually added. So I, I want to show you guys what I did. So let me just show you what I did. So here's my Facebook feed. Here's my Twitter feed. And here's my LinkedIn feed all in one. All right? So I don't have to log into LinkedIn, check it out. Log into Facebook, check it out. Log into Home Feed or my Twitter feed and check it out. It's all right here. I can interact and I can share. It has a retweet. It has a reply. It has a direct message. On Facebook, I have a like here. I can like this post right here inside my, my Hootsuite account. Um, I have no idea why I was having that problem with that. I've never had that problem before. Probably something to do with what I'm going on here. But um, that's the power of this. So I can log into Hootsuite in five minutes and go, all right, cool. And then I can log into my groups. I can have, I can add my business page if I want to. So if I add it to another social network, I go to Facebook and I add connect with Facebook. It's going to ask me to log in. It's amazing what you can do with this thing. And there it is. It's going to allow, and then it's going to just give it one second. It's going to pop up and go, okay, which one do you want? And I want this one right here. And I want to monitor that one and see all these other pages that you can monitor. You can actually, if you scroll down enough, it'll show you your groups that you're in. There's Facebook groups. So you can monitor all of those. And then you click Finish Importing. And what it's going to do, it's going to add that to its own. So here's my Facebook page that I added. But if I want to delete this long link and just add it as part of my Scott's Personal, what I would do is now that I know it's one of my profiles, okay, and guys, if you have any questions on this at all, we can do a short video and you can it'll just help you. But here's my thing. If you're gonna if you're gonna be in real estate, let's let's start let's start being out there in the social media circuit so that you're at all four parties every single day on a regular basis, connecting, engaging, and interacting with people and uh, just having a good time. So add a social network. I want to go in here, I want to add Facebook. Whoops, wrong one. Add a stream, and I want to be Facebook, and I'm going to add uh, Scott Hutzbeth. There it is right there, Scott Hutzbeth, and I want to add wall post. Now I have inside one, I can delete this, okay, I can delete that. So inside here I have my Facebook personal, my Twitter, my LinkedIn, and my business page all in one. All right, so I can monitor all of them. I can comment on every single one of them. I can like, I can comment, I can add a comment if I want to. Same thing with all of this. So it's just a matter of picking five friends per day. Like going back to this PowerPoint, guys, going back to this, I'm telling you, this will change your life, it'll change your business, is, is pick someone to, you know, make it part of your, your one day, but Twitter accounts, and then let me just see, let me get the one I want here. So pick, and it's just, let's just do this on this PowerPoint here. I'm going to make a new slide. So I'm going to make a new slide. So who to post to, to connect with? Friends, family, current clients. I would for sure like them, uh, friend them on Facebook like the, the second you meet them. If, if you can do it on your phone, do it. Find them and connect with them. You want to start engaging and interacting so you don't lose them to your comp to your competition, right? Past clients, make a list of every single one. Connect, engage, and interact on all three social media sites. When I say three, really the biggest two are, the number one is Facebook. You always want to be connected with them on Facebook. LinkedIn, connect with them there. If you're using Twitter, great. If you're not, no big deal. I don't use it a lot. Trust me, I'm going to be going there uh, because the clients are going to be going there, right? Past clients. Um, there, and you can take all of these, friends, family, coworkers, um, coworkers, uh, then you got there, Pat, there, friends, family, coworkers, I mean, it just goes on and on and on, all right, and that's how this thing all just spools out of control. If you get one person, you just don't know who you're connected with and who is calling you about a home on Facebook, like, that, that wants to buy a home, 
You don't know who their parents are. You don't know who they work with. You don't know. I mean, it's just it's crazy what that could do for you, one person and one referral. But if you never engage, and interact, and connect with them on a social media site, you might never get the chance to know their friends, family, and coworkers. Okay? Can't stress how important that is on a you know to do that on a regular basis. Hey, Scotty, I got a couple of pe several people asking the same question. Can you just do a real quick show us on on live if if you can? How you incorporate Pinterest into your your Hootsuite? Absolutely. So going back to this one slide, this this is pretty cool. So let me just find the slide that I need here. Uh, so Pinterest. All right. So you're going to need this link. So I'm going to copy this link right here. All right. I'm going to copy that one, and I'm going to go to my Hootsuite account, and there is a thing called an RSS feed. So if you hold it over settings, over your settings tab, everybody see that on the left hand side? Settings, RSS, it's going to open it up. See, I already have my RSS feed set up, but what you want to do is you want to click Add New Feed. And what I do is I have my Pinterest feed going to my Twitter account. So every time I pin something, it automatically tweets it out. So I click Add Plus. Let me just start over. So on the left-hand side, it says Settings, RSS. And then you're going to click Add New Feed, and you're going to click to Feed URL. So the Feed URL, you're going to paste that in there. So it's Pinterest.com forward slash, but you want to put your username in here, okay? So mine is Scott Hutzbeth. And then you want to click to Add. So what? click to Send Feed Item. So where do you want to send your pins in Pinterest when you pen them? I want to send it to my Facebook page, all right? Check this feed for new posts. Uh, so I'm going to check this every every hour because I want it to do it more frequently than not frequently. Because sometimes you can set it to only check it at once every 24 hours and then send tweets out. I want to do it every hour. Uh, when new posts are found, send to one post at a time, two posts at a time, three posts. I'm going to do one post at a time. Include text from message. I actually uncheck that box because I want to have the text that shows in my pin show up. So I would, I'm going to unclude that or uncheck that, all right? And that's it. And then you can have the shortener, the URL shortener, even be owl or owly or hithy or whatever you want to do. I just leave that alone and then click save feed. And it's going to set it up and now it's on in there. All right? Absolutely. But, and and oh, I'm sorry, are you good? No, I'm good. Is that the end? Yep. Okay, so also um, a, a follow-up on the, the multi-posts and things like that. One of the things that, that uh, James as well as uh, Virgil was saying is that on their Twitter, they have anything that they tweet automatically posted to their Facebook fan page. So what you would do is when you're, when you're in Hootsuite and you're managing, if you know that your Twitter is already posting to your Facebook, you don't want to have double posts of the same exact thing on your one Facebook page. So what you do is you just don't Hootsuite it to Facebook. You, you go ahead and tweet it, and then the Twitter feed will automatically post it to your Facebook page. You just have to think about what the things that you guys have already, what are, what's in place, and how do you manage your social media currently. And right. then incorporate what Hootsuite brings to the table, which is the ability to post on those multiple platforms. But yeah, if you've got Hootsuite and you've already set up Twitter, you know you can either turn off Twitter to not auto post to Facebook, or just don't Hootsuite to Facebook so that right. that Twitter feed automatically comes to it. Several yeah. are asking about the recording. Um, yep. a, a couple people said thank you, Scotty, right away for. Uh, by the way, for, for going a little bit slower than, than the typical speed that we kind of go through. Yeah. We have so much to cover that we try and get it all in, and, and we understand. That's why we make these recordings and replays available. Now, that being said, those of you who are asking, this was recorded, and yeah. the PowerPoint slide is available for you. All you have to do to get access to it is just contact the loan professional who invited you today. They can access the, today's recording as well as last week's. They can get you set up to make sure that you are available or get signed up for next week's class because today's class is a precursor to next week. Next week Correct. we're going to be talking about what do you post, what kind of stuff creates the engagement, how do you generate those super fans. Where to find the content, yeah, where to find exactly. the content, how to set exactly. up a master plan of when, what to post each day. Uh, you're you're going to hear it from an expert. You're going to kind of hear 
what a consultation looks like with her and that's kind of we're going to show you some really really powerful stuff and kind of what what we're going to really do is help you build a business plan surrounded around social media it's pretty cool so um yeah and cool. so if really you want quick. to make sure you're part of that next week and yeah, for sure. and for those of you who need a you know to go back check out the powerpoint set things up one step at a time all you do contact the loan professional who sent you today They'll yeah. get you set right up. They'll get you access to the recording. They'll they'll email you or however they need to provide you with the PowerPoint slides. And a lot of the times, there are people that can help you get some of this stuff set up or at least get you access to where to get the the, the questions answered. There you go. So really quick, for every here's what I want from you guys today. I want I want you guys to commit in some way, shape, or form that you're going to use one or all of these social media sites by the end of March, okay? I don't, I don't, I just commit on something on the group. So how to get to the group is, uh, and then, and like, just put it out there for everybody to see. So it's facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash agent mastermind. If you're not a part of it, we're uh, a thousand strong. We're over a thousand now. And go on there and just say, I commit. I don't care what you can, you don't have to commit to anything, but if you want to just say, I commit to using social media to grow my business, to, I mean, and just, just, just say something. So that you, so you have it for us to look back on, or you have it for whatever uh, whoever loan officer you're working with, so you guys can work together on whatever that whatever that strategy is, okay? And it, and it can only be, I mean, if work on Facebook. That's if that's all it is. Congratulations, just commit to it. If it's you want to incorporate Twitter into your life and start learning it slowly over the next month, commit to that. Commit to LinkedIn. Commit to Pinterest. Commit to Google Plus. Commit to one thing. If you only did one social media site per month. At the end of 12 months, you're going to have way more than you need. At the end of six months, you're going to have all of them mastered. Just you, just commit to one thing and then do one thing only and spend 10 minutes a day working on that or 15 minutes a day, whatever it is. And at the end of a month, you'll be a master, okay? Then that's what this is all about, just becoming good and be able to interact, engage, and build your database to, to have unlimited number of referrals coming in and have an amazing business, all right? And that's what we're all here for is to help you with that. Okay? Absolutely. Great stuff, All Scott. Right. Thank you again for sharing Thanks with so me, much. buddy. Yeah, again, man. guys, girls, just get in touch with that loan professional that invited you today. They'll get you access to today's recording and, more importantly, get you set up for next week's class, which is going to be awesome stuff.